Yo, Army Channel. Uh, no work today. So, I figure I'll take advantage and uh, get another video done that I wanted to do. This video is going to be uh, an extension of the last video. There's a few things I, I'm, I, not that I missed, that I couldn't do because I can only get 10 minutes on a video. Because I'm not a superstar YouTube guy, so I can only get 10 minutes. Uh, guns, terms, and slangs. Uh, there's a few more uh, things I wanted to mention that I missed that I think are important. So, uh, I got these pistols out here, and there's a reason why, and you'll see why. Uh, thanks for all the comments, everybody. It's really good. Uh, they're really great comments. And uh, um, as far as douchebags go, they're really at an all-time low. I only had one asshole say something stupid. He said, when I was talking about don't call it a clip, call it a magazine. He said, I'll call it a clip if I want. So he's a guy that don't care about your gun hobby and he has no respect for your gun rights because he's going to be a douchebag and he's going to talk like a fucking shithead. And I even announced on the video that this is for people that give a shit. Remember I said that? So he don't give a shit. He's a fucking asshole. So I blocked him. I don't want people like that with us. We're a strong group. We're solid and we're responsible gun people. People like him don't need to be part of what we're doing. I think I handled it nicely. I was dying to type type back something real nasty because that's my reaction all the time, but I gotta change that or you know, the channel ain't gonna last long because it's gonna get out of hand. I don't want it to get out of hand. So uh, I'm gonna take my ring off because these are thousand dollar guns, I don't want to scratch them up. And uh, just a couple things I missed. Oh, oh, shit, I need paper, don't I? Got plenty of time. Alright. Well, there's a couple other gun terms. I know these are gun parts, but I think people hear these terms and they don't know what they mean. Okay? Uh, does anyone know what a bull barrel is? I know if you're a gun guy, you do, but there's new people out there that are watching. They have no idea what a bull barrel is. There is two bull barrels on this table right now. Two. Okay. Let's make sure the guns are safe. So let's check the Kimber first. I know the magazine's loaded because I carry this. Point it in a safe direction and just give it a quick check. And uh, it's safe. Okay, that one's good. This one has a full magazine because I use this one for home protection. This, this I keep next to the bed at night. Nothing in the chamber. All clear. I mean, if this makes you feel better, gun police, we'll leave them like that if you want. Okay. I can do that. I don't usually do that, but I'm doing it. Okay, well, let's resituate so you can see these better. Man, I should not have a glass top. I really shouldn't for this hobby. But it's a really cool computer desk. That's why I bought it. Okay, now these Ruger 22. I know there's nothing in here. Nothing in the mag. Nothing in the chamber. Shouldn't dry fire a 22, but... I ain't worried about it because the fire pin's very easy to change. Okay, there's two two bull barrels on here. This is a bull barrel. This is a bull barrel. This is not a bull barrel. These are both 1911s. Here you're going to see the difference. See the barrel? That's your regular standard 1911 barrel. And this is a bull barrel. A bull barrel is thicker steel and it's heavier on the end. What it does is it helps muzzle flip. Now everyone knows what muzzle flip is. And it balances the gun better. And it's supposed to improve accuracy. I don't see that, but this is no more accurate than this. This is more accurate because it's got more weight. Remember, weight weight has a lot to do with accuracy. Now light guns are hard to be accurate with. Now here's a regular barrel. See it's thin steel. There's no meat around it. 
that that's not a bull barrel so this is a bull barrel this is not a bull barrel this is a bull barrel that's a bull barrel now you'll see other 22s because you see how fat it is it's very fat and it's got the little 22 barrel inside it just it, it adds weight and it cuts down on vibration and it makes the gun extremely accurate that's a bull barrel also okay so that's what bull barrel means uh, let me see I'm running out of time you know I want to show you what some target uh, how can I forget forget the stupid things I forget it's unbelievable some target terms I want to show you some target terms okay. I'm going to use this piece of paper okay uh, does anyone know what flyers are? Say this is a target. This is your target. Okay, and here's the center of the target. Like that. You be seeing that. Now, if I'm shooting from five yards away or whatever, figure boom, 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 boom. There's my group, right? But once in a while, there might be one over here. There might be one over here. Now these are called flyers. Because here's your group, that's your general group, but these are flyers. These are out here. They're called flyers. So if here's some someone says I have if someone said I have two flyers, that's what they that's what they mean. Okay? That's that. Now another, another term it's pretty important is called keyholing. Keyholing cool keyholing is when here's your target again. Okay, here's the center. Keyholing is when you're firing a rifle or a handgun. Most of the time it's rifle. And say you're firing 50, 100 yards, whatever. You look at the holes in the paper, and some of them are perfectly round. That's how they're supposed to look, perfectly round. Okay, but then some of them are oval like this. Okay. Perfectly round, perfectly round, perfectly round, oval. That is a keyhole. That means your bullet is tumbling to the target. It's not going straight. Okay? Now, there's ammunition out there, like 5.45, that actually fires that way. So you got to decipher, is it okay, or is my barrel messed up? It depends. You know what I mean? I think I think at I think at 50 yards, if you're using 5.45, it it should not keyhole at all. I think maybe at 100 yards and out, if you see keyholing, it might be normal for that round, so don't get alarmed. But if you're shooting a 30 odd six, you know a 308, a 223, you, you shouldn't see any keyholing. There's something wrong if you see keyholing. But 5.45, because the first top of the uh, full metal jacket is hollow if you watch Z Boy CEO's video he, t he shows you that the first top of the eighth inch down from the top of the full metal jacket is hollow that means the weights on the ass end of the bullet you understand so it's not going to go head first the ass end is going to come around a little that's why you know they keyhole but if they keyhole at 50 yards or in I would say, my opinion, there's something wrong with the barrel. So that's what a keyhole is. You want to know what a keyhole is. So you know, you know, it's just uh, target terms. Uh, trying to think of anything else that's real. I was going to show you what the difference between single, single action and double action, but I don't think I have a fucking time. Okay, I don't, because that's already nine fucking seventeen already, and I don't have the time to explain it. We'll throw that in another video. I know you guys know what single action and double action is, but to some uh, one that's new or a woman that just bought a gun, she don't know what the fuck that means. She has no idea. All right. So there we go. Hope this video uh, gave you a little informative information. And as far as dry firing goes, dry firing is okay. Just don't dry fire any rim fire weapons like a twenty two. All right, and there's other weapons you shouldn't dry fire, but I don't have time to get in, uh, involved with that right now. All right, see you guys.